Welcome back guys. In this video, I'll show you how to deploy your Laravel application using the Cloudways. So what exactly is the Cloudways? Cloudways is different to the normal hosting or share hosting where you have either cPanel or something like that. So it is basically intermediate service between the you and the cloud storage platform. So Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting that offers a peace of mind. Yes, because as a developer, I don't have to worry about deploying my application or things like server management or security because Cloudways perform this job very easily. And the good thing is that it comes with the optimized stack, integrated Git and pre-configured Composer. It also allows you to choose from the five different cloud providers like AWS, uh, DigitalOcean, where we are going to deploy our Laravel application, Lindell, Vulcher or Google Compute. The good thing is that they have a block where you can source every deployment process. For example, if you simply search for the Laravel DEPL or YM deployment, they have a lot of block related Laravel deployment and that helps you to de deploy your Laravel application very easily. I have I have mentioned all this link in the notes section. You can check all these links uh, in the notes section. Now the first step is to log in and let me log in with my uh, GitHub account. In here and this is my dashboard. The first thing is to add the server. So just click the launch and you'll get this page. Okay, so we'll choose here Laravel since we are deploying our Laravel app. Laravel and you can give it a name, let's say Laravel app. You can give your own server name. So Laravel app 2 or anything. And your project, Laravel demo. Laravel demo, okay. And we choose here DigitalOcean. You can decrease the size of your server size or you can increase as well and choose one of the locations. So I like to choose here Toronto and now we have to launch this. So our server should be ready. Okay, now we have our server and it says that it takes 70 minutes to create this server, okay? So I have also a few links here about uh, deployment and about SSS and a lot of things. I'll put this all the links into the notes section. You can get this all the links after this video in the notes section. So make sure that you watch this link uh, because they are very important and that makes your, your deployment process very easy as well. So now let's go to application here. So we'll add the project here. So let's uh, we have the project we have already a project here so let's uh, just wait for this to be added and then we'll start uh, deploying the application okay our server is created and you can see here i have the server which is created just now so let's click here www and it redirects you to this page and here you can see some of the credentials for my school which is i have the database name i have the username and password when we actually deploy our app, Laravel app, the restaurant app, we'll change our .env file so that we can connect our app to the database and we can access all the uh, data from our database, okay? So this is things we'll do later. And let's see here, we have the application management things here. So we have uh, the monitoring thing here. We, we So the analytics, it can show you the all the access logs or error logs. We have a domain management here. So if you have a domain, you can easily point this to your web app. Here we have a cron job management. The cron job uh, management is a web interface where you can easily create and manage cron jobs for your Linux web hosting package. If you have a script that you would like to run at a specific time in order to automate tasks that would normally have to be done manually, you can settle them using the cron job manager. Similarly, so we have a SSL certificate. So it is a global standard security technology that enables encrypted communication between the web browser and the web server. I know, I, I, I'm sure that you know about these things. So we have a backup and restore. It's a good idea to always backup uh, the files so that we can use in case if you miss them. So we have application say, setting here. We have the cloud with uh, CDN also. But the most, thing, most, interest, most uh, important thing is that we are interested in the deployment via Git. So we are deploying our app with the Git and first we'll generate SS, 
edge key so click that and here first we have to view SS key so when you click this you'll get SS key and just copy this so if you click here it will copy this okay and then let's go to your github your project so this is the project that I want to deploy so I'll go to the settings here and then we have your deploy keys and here now I'll add the deploy keys and I'll give you any name you can give here so Laravel deploy keys you can give anything and just paste this SSL and add keys okay now our SS key has been added now we have to go here and let's go to again project and click here make sure you click SSS not the HTTPS SSS so copy this I hope this is copied and now let's add this okay so we add this and it will authenticate this click the authenticate so it will authenticate and everything is fine it's authenticated okay and choose here as a main and start deployment so deployment is in the process and this is done so if you have any changes in your git project you can always pull the recent changes by just clicking the pull and choose your branch okay so now the next step is to go to our server so let's go to our application and this is our project and if you click this project you'll see this project so at the moment you see uh, some error is going here you say author out is something like error so because we have not connected to our database so we'll do that so let's go to again server here and click here server now we have to learn ss as terminal you can also do this via your terminal or you can do from online so i'll do using this ss terminal so whenever you click this it may give you warning so you have to pull like this so your connection is not private but anyway you can click advance and then you can proceed this and it will open your cell here okay so the first thing is we have to type copy the username and we'll paste this username here here the enter and then it will ask you password let's copy the password and paste over here and hit it okay it looks everything is fine now let's uh, type the application cd app l i c a t i o n s applications and we are in application ls sorry ls and we have the project created here so just type cd and again type ls and here we have the public html let's go inside the public html cd public underscore html and if we type ls we can see list of folders here so we have here Laravel project okay now only thing left is we have to now uh, migrate it we have to seed it and then we have, we have to connect to the database okay so first I have to write a composure install ins T A L L composure install and hit the enter so it's installing the composure and once this is done we'll refresh our project so this is done and let's refresh the project and this time we are getting the error related to connection something like connection and so let's fix this okay so we have to open our .env file so let's open .env file to open it simply type vi space .env I have also written this for you here so just type bi dash dot env and it will open your uh, env file where you can make changes so here is my env file so first thing is I have to copy my uh, database name so database passport so let's go uh, here in the application in the application let's go here and here is my database name so database name and username are same so let's copy this 
and let's go here and we have to find your database so our database is larval here just remove this larval so come here and just remove this one so let's remove larval I will give the backspace to remove this copy select and remove And just paste your database here similarly we copy our username the database name and username are same and this edit the username here and paste over here and the final thing is to copy the password and just paste over here so passwords everything is done now just press the escape key which I have written here the escape key and then we'll press shift plus key and the colon okay so escape key and then we'll press the shift plus and the colon now we'll write and quit this w q okay done now we have to migrate now if you refresh this then i think database connection should look fine database connection should look fine now we have to migrate our all this file so you can see here now a database is fine mm, the credentials are given now it shows that it says that categories table does not exist so we have to migrate all this so php artisan migrate migrate and everything is migrated now we should not see any error since we have table now now we can see our application is running and this is the login so if you go to our app we do have credentials for admin as well so in the database in the seed in the database seeder i have some credentials here so let me see this data so i write php addition db seed and you see that successfully now i should be able to log in with this credential so let me try and let me create some categories so refresh username and my passport is simply the passport and login and you can see I'm logged in this is my app and let me add some category first so add category I'll add fast food categories added and let me add some food so here I'll keep add food let's give a momo this is a momo let's get a price as ten dollar select category choose one of the image I'll choose this one and submit it so now our first food is created so if you go here you can see we have the first food here okay we have the fast food here and if you go to the food we have one food here so everything looks fine so if you go to our home page this is also running finally so if you click view we can see detail so guys uh, in this video I show you how to deploy your Laravel application in Cloudways hosting I hope you really enjoy this video thank you for watching this video